Hello, and welcome to my um, little thriftaholic vol <laughs> thriftaholic vlog. I literally love thrifting so much. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I love getting things secondhand from people. So today it is April 26th at 6.06 p.m. So the thrift stores have probably been really picked over. So, um, it was closed. So off to the second place we go. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna stop at Sonic and get ourselves a drinky drinky. Alrighty, so I always, <laughs> before I go thrifting, I always, 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 oh, I didn't park. Before I go thrifting, I always stop at Sonic. Actually, it's just a little slushy. I think it has magic in it. But, yeah, it's 10 out of 10 would recommend. I just ordered, okay, so I just ordered um, my grape slush with nerds add-in. Oh, slush? yeah, thank you so much. No problem. Before we go anywhere, I'm going to give you the rundown of my little thrifting tips. It's not a, this is big for a small. This is a big, small, guys. Very good. 10 out of 10. My first tip is music. Grab it, listen to it. it makes you less nauseous. Because I don't know why, but sometimes just thrifting without music makes me nauseous. Second of all, it's gonna make you stay there longer and look harder. That's the second thing. Leads into the second thing that you need to look. It's not gonna come. Especially, we're going to the bins. You gotta look. You gotta dig through and just say, screw it. I don't care if my hands get dirty, I'm gonna look in. My third one is look in all the sections. I don't care what kind of clothes you wear. Sometimes, I mean, obviously if you don't wear a dress, dresses or you don't wear pants, but even then look in because people skip over and people put things in the wrong sections, which brings me to my fourth thing, go in with things you're looking for, but don't go in with expectations. Go in with the expectation that you have, you're gonna get nothing, okay? Because if you go in with that, you're gonna find something great. But do be looking for, be, keep your eye out. I always go in, this one, I don't, I don't even remember her name, but random YouTuber, I saw her, or talking about this online, find your color palette, because that's gonna help you a lot. Because for me, I don't like how purples look on me. I don't think they look really that good. So if I see a purple shirt, I'm not even gonna bother looking at it. That's just a waste of my time. But if I see a nice blue, a pink, um, let's see, maybe a brown or a black, I'm gonna go straight to those. Look at those. Especially in the ones where they're color coded, skip over a whole section because I'm not gonna wear them. Like, as funny as a shirt may be, sometimes I'm just like, that's an ugly shirt on me. I'm not gonna wear it. Why would I buy it, you know? Let's go. If I'm honest, it wasn't the best day, but also I did go at six o'clock at night. So I think a lot of it was picked over and they weren't gonna bring anything new out was the other thing. But so got this little mug, like it's, it's really cute. And I've been thinking about it and I was just like, also, why is it made in England? It's a mug that says Paris. Why would I digress? Um, but I've been thinking about it, and when I go to college, I'm gonna want mugs and stuff. I just figure, this is more something like me that's gonna, like, represent who I am, and I'd rather have something that feels more like me than something that's not, you know? Something that I had to go and buy a pack of, like, that's lame. Anyways, so the second thing is this little t-shirt, pretty nice quality. Um, I think it's a, 
it's sort of like a baby tea fit. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or if I'll just end up re-thrifting it or something, but I thought it was cool. It was a fun little shirt. I love a good graphic tee, if anyone knows me. Oh, I did like the little end right there. That was nice. This one is what I really like though. This, him, look at him. He's from Japan, I believe, or some. I believe that's Japanese because I also have a really, I think it's the same brand. Might not be. The one that I have has a zipper. Um, but as you can see, he's not very, like, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to gut him open and restitch him. But I, um, I may or may not have taken a bunch of fluff from a stuffed animal that was, like, cut open. Shh, I didn't cut it open, but I am going to refluff him. And we're going to make him new. It's gonna be, you know what? You're gonna be great. And he'll live in my car, be a little car stuffed animal. Because my friends sometimes will come in and sleep while we hang out and go eat. Like she'll just fall asleep because she's really tired. So we will be fluffing him up and he will live here as a wonderful good boy. Um, but yeah, that's honestly, yeah, this thrifting day, I did not, I mean, once again, I don't go in with really expectations. I go in with wants, but I didn't really expect to get anything. Uh, but it was fun. I love thrifting. This definitely was a bit of a letdown day. I'm not gonna lie. Even though I didn't really have like, obviously, <laughs> try not to have expectations, but it's human, I do. It kind of sucks that I didn't like find anything. Oh, wow, I really loved, but I mean, I got like the stuffed animal, but um, it's all right. Hey, um, you just keep coming back and you'll find them. Um, but honestly, this is fun. So let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas that or tips of how you thrift that makes you thrift better or um, just questions that I can answer as help you guys thrift better. Cause honestly, this is something I really love doing. I love clothing, fashion. It's so much fun. All right, see you guys in the next video.